And here comes the superiority snail, racing in slow motion with a superiority complex larger than its own shell, displaying an air of condescension thicker than pea soup fog. Picture someone who treats every conversation like a game of king of the hill, trying to knock you off the top with their own self-proclaimed magnificence. They've got the grace of a unicycle riding elephant, and the charm of a toad in a beauty contest. What makes a person transform into this no fun allowed, better than thou, shell-dwelling beast? It's usually a mix of insecurity and fear, like a toddler clinging to a teddy bear while watching a horror movie. They fear the world will see them as ordinary, so they overcompensate by belittling others, much like a small dog that bots louder to seem scarier. Imagine, though, if we could turn these snails into equality eagles, soaring high but still seeing everyone from an even level. These are the folks who value every voice in the chorus, make you feel like you're part of the band rather than a backstage spectator. An equality eagle can admire a rainbow without comparing the colors, understanding that each you holds its unique beauty and importance. Now, let's say you find yourself face to face with a superiority snail. Channel your inner diplomacy dolphin, use phrases like I see your point, but let's also value what others bring to the table. We can learn so much from each other, don't you agree? It's like tossing a life jacket to someone who's forgotten that conversations aren't a sink or swim situation, but a pleasant sail where everyone's on the same boat. So here's to our equality eagles who remind us that every voice matters, and to the superiority snails. Remember, even if you're a high flyer, Never forget we all walk on the same ground. Yes,